Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing a what if the Los Angeles Lakers trade for Zach Levine. So a report came out today from Shams that the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine are working on a trade to maybe find a new team that's one to like contend. But I'm pretty sure a lot more teams would show interest in Alex Caruso than Zach Levine. But yeah, the trade we did to get Zach Levine on the Lakers is actually a very interesting trade. I actually got inspired from FanDuel. Um, it's just a trade going around around like the M NBA Twitter, and it's a really, really good trade. I definitely think this could make some sense on both sides. Once again, I got inspired by FanDuel, so here's the trade that we went ahead and did. So it doesn't show the full thing for some reason, which in my, my opinion is really stupid. So basically... Um, we are getting Zach Levine, Alex Caruso, and Terry Taylor, and we are trading D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, Torian Prince, and then Jalen Hachifino, as well as the 2029 first round pick, so basically, um, yeah, we, we also get Alex Caruso back in the team, which I think is something that could happen, definitely, it's so dumb that, that, that it doesn't let me, that doesn't let me, okay, here, here's the flip trade, alright, so basically, yeah, so it's Levine, Alex Caruso, Terry Taylor, to the Lakers, here, here Taylor, Terry Taylor is just a throw-in just to make the money work, and then the Bulls are getting D'Angelo Russell, Rajamora, and Torian Prince. Rajamora is someone that I think could definitely be a really good player for the Bulls. They also get two really solid role players in Torian Prince and D'Angelo Russell, which they can flip them in the offseason or just let them walk in the offseason so they can go ahead and rebuild, and then they can trade DeMar DeRozan to any team that's interested. So that's the trade we did right there. We got Zach Levine, and then we also got Alex Cruz of in LA, so I definitely really like that trade. So now we have a big three of LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Zach Levine. So we're going all in for this year, as you can see. We also, since trading D'Angelo Russell, we have to figure out who's going to be the new starting point guard. Gabe Vincent hasn't been too great with the Lakers, so will it be Reeves? Will it be Caruso? Uh, to be honest, I think it's going to be Reeves because, I mean, Caruso, he can definitely start. I mean, Reeves has been coming off the bench, but I'm going to have Reeves play that, play that starting point guard role. He does go down, so maybe, we, okay, they, they, they both go down anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it to Reeves. Really doesn't matter too much, so um, the Crusoe sh should come off the bench. Reddish is going to start, which, I mean, he's starting in real life, like I said, so it really doesn't matter too much, but take a look at the rotation. It's Austin Reeves, Zach Levine, Cameron Reddish, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Alice Crusoe, Jared Vanderbilt, Christian Wood, Gabe Vincent, and Jackson Hayes. Or we can maybe run LeBron at the three and then start Vanderbilt. Maybe that's an option, but um, Vanderbilt is hurt for the Lakers right now, so right now I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm actually going to go ahead and injure Jared Vanderbilt since he's not actually playing right now for the Lakers, or I mean, I guess let's keep him on. Um, I'm at the exact day in the NBA, and I'll just start today. It's still not working. It's really dumb, like I said, but I'll just keep Vanderbilt in there. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to injure him for like two to four weeks. There was an update on him that he should be coming back very, very soon, and then like I said, I'm just going to leave the rotation like this. I might switch it up mid-season, but for now, Reddish will be that starting point guard. Also, also, I mean, starting small 40s, also playing really good with the Lakers once again. We could just maybe run, you know, Levine or LeBron at the three, start Vanderbilt. We could do that, but for now, I'm just going to go up and see you guys at the end of the season. There's multiple ways we can do this starting lineup, but I like it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Amore is your MVP, Rookie of the Year, Victor Mbanyama, Sixth Man, Nas Reed, Defensive Player in Giannis, Most Improved, Nas Reed as well, really good season from him. Clutch player going to Luka, coach is going to Quint Snyder of the Atlanta Hawks. On the first team, on the second team, we do get LeBron. On the other team, I don't I don't see Anthony Davis. We should get him on a defensive team, and no, we don't. Wow, Chris Dunn may went over him, which is kind of interesting. And obviously, Hitchifino was mostly in the G League the entire season. So, this year we finished off as the second seed in the Western Conference. We got to play Oklahoma City in the first round. Heading up to our player stats. We got 22 and a half from LeBron James, 20 from Zach Levine, 19 from Anthony Davis, 16 from Austin Reeves, 13 from Christian Wood, 8 from Cameron Reddish. Um, how is his efficiency? 35%. I mean, it's not terrible, but I'll take that. 7 from Gabe Vincent, 6 from Caruso, 5 from Jackson Hayes, 5 from Jared Vanderbilt, 2 from Max Christie, and then George Hill I had to sign just for like extra, for like an extra player on the team because I had to sign somebody. So we got to play Oklahoma City. So HGA, Josh Giddy, Lou Dorgen. William Chet Holmgren, Isaiah Joe, um, 
Mitchich, Poku, Kendrick Williams, and then Jalen Williams. So let's see what happens. Obviously, OKC is still a really good young team. And it's going to be tied at two apiece. We're going to take the 3 2 lead. And they're going to force the game seven. So just like that, the Thunder are giving us problems. So can we go ahead and maybe win the game seven to go on advance to the second round? If we lose in the first round after going all in, man, that would be absolutely terrible. But luckily, that is not going to happen. We're going to beat them um, 82 to 121. So we absolutely blow him out here, which is amazing, so LeBron does get her, also Alice Caruso, so bruised right hip for Caruso, LeBron um, sprained left ankle, so that does suck, but LeBron's going to play through it, as well as Alice Caruso, so that's really good for them, and then um, he got New Orleans, so CJ McCollum, Herbert Jones, Trey Murphy, Larry Nance, somebody's missing, I know like a lot, okay, yes, but Brandon Ingram is not Williamson, if they're out for the entire series, that can be huge, um, B.I. might come back, but Zion, broken left ankle, is not going to come back two to four weeks. So, Brandon Ingram might come back, but we should not lose by, by a team um, with the no. Actually, since we just simulated, they might actually be back. So, actually, no, they're not back. Okay, so we could get a series with no BI or Zion. We're going to lose game one. Not looking good. We're going to lose game two as well. I mean, I guess Ingram came back, but no way we're going to lose to that team. Okay, we're going to get one game on them. So, not done yet. Now, we're going to use it up to two. We're going to take the 3 2 lead, and just like that, we're going to win four games to beat them in six. I knew we weren't going to lose. Now we got the Grizzlies. So, John Morant, Desmond Bain, Zier Williams, Jaron Jackson, Steve Nams, Marcus Smart, Brayna Clark, Nathan Aldama, Luke Kennard, and Derek Rose. So, against the Grizzlies here, um, let's see what happens. Game one. They're going to take game two, we even it up. Game three, we take the 2-1 lead. We take the 3-1 lead, and just like that, we're in the NBA Finals to play the New York Knicks. We could have played LeBron James' former team in the Miami Heat, but we got the Knicks. So the Knicks are the sixth seed right now. Or that, they're actually the eighth seed, man. So they were, like, in the first round of the play-in, which is kind of wild. But um, we got New York, like I said. So, I mean, they were a play-in team. And then to me, me personally, I think we can beat a play-in team, right? I mean, the Miami Heat made it to the finals, but they didn't win it, so, I mean, all right, game one, we're gonna take, game two, we're gonna take, game three, they get one game, LeBron James, soreness in his knee, but we're gonna go up 3-1, they're gonna get two games, can we go ahead and just win the championship here, let's just get it over it, and let's not force, hopefully the Knicks do not force the game seven, and it's really close, it's a really close game, actually, we just gotta get back into it, okay, we're getting back into it a little bit, and can we go ahead and just win the game, um, Two minutes left, one minute left. We're up by four, and now we are going to pull it off. We're going to win the championship just like that, 124 to 115. And just like that, we got 30-point um, games from LeBron at AD, Zach Levine at 16. We're going to win a championship. We're going to get LeBron his fifth ring. Um, I don't think something I could have done in the normal Lakers rebuild, but since Zach Levine is on the team, we get LeBron a championship. It's absolutely amazing. So um, I don't know if he's going to retire now, actually. Mm, he's not going to retire, so. He decides to go another year. He's not going to retire. As you can see, George Taylor retiring, but I really don't, really don't care about that. Heading into the draft lottery, we don't have a first round pick. We have like a second round pick, I believe. So, like an early or middle or mid second round pick. So, a mid second round pick from the Clippers. I believe that's from the Zubat trade. I'm like. 50% sure, so we got, um, alright, so we can go ahead and add a nice young rookie to this team to pair with this core, which I actually want to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop into the draft and see what is available, so we have Reese here, we got Nicola, um, I mean, I only really know any of these guys, but I'm probably going to go ahead and take Reese, um, and then that'll conclude my draft, so I'll go ahead and bring you in, you only need another guard, but sure, so, um, we got LeBron declining, Christian Wood, Cameron Reddish, Jackson, it's just the normal thing when I do these Lakers rebuilds. Everybody declined. Harry Taylor, we got him from the Bulls trade. I'll bring him back. Qualifying offers. Max Christie, someone I would love to bring back. So, free agency, we got LeBron. So, that's the main free agent we have to worry about. Doesn't matter about anything else right now. So, we don't have any more bird rights. We got Reeves, Gabe Vincent, Zach Levine, Alice Caruso. No small forwards. So we need to bring back LeBron. We also need to sign a backup center. So, LeBron is the main. I mean, do we have any money to sign like a Kawhi or say for a younger option? No, we do not. But I'm just going to bring back LeBron. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep pushing with the core here, so LeBron, um, let's give it a one-year deal, so, because he might retire next year, actually, he's willing to go to the Raptors, hold on, 
Are we not going to be able to get LeBron back? Okay, let's give him, like, more money. Let's give him a no-trade clause and stuff like that. Let's give him a two-year deal. Let's give him a player option then. Let's see if we can get him back now. And we get him back. Okay, so we're, we're getting LeBron back. That's the only thing I was worried about. So are we going to get him back? No, hold on. So we need a small forward. I don't know if we can bring back Cam Reddish to be that or Jackson A's. And no, we cannot. But I see, like, I Andrew Nimhard out here. I see Gary Harris, which, yeah, I, I, I absolutely love Gary Harris, man. So Gary Harris. Uh, let's see if we can get him for a minimum. I doubt it, but let's see if we can get him for a minimum. I don't know if we can. Um, just a plain minimum contract, and he's, okay, he's thinking about it, so not officially signed, or he's gonna sign. Okay, so we get LeBron and Gary Harris as the free agents in Moderatorium. So Gary Harris, I'm gonna probably move him to the three, because I'm pretty sure he goes up, and he goes up to a 78. So that's, that's the main reason why I honestly love signing Gary Harris. I so don't know if he's gonna start, but I definitely need some options. So we need another wing, and we need a backup center. So let's see what we can get. So, um, Grayson Allen would be nice. I mean, Derek Jones, Torian Prince, we're gonna resign him after trading him to the Bulls. Obviously, eight points, 37% from three. Or we can sign Derek Jones, we can sign Pierre Savis. I'm probably gonna go a backup center here first and sell like Drew Eubanks to like a four million dollar two year deal. And then if we can still sign one of these forwards, that'll be nice. It's a backup center, I believe, is the most important thing that we can do right now. Actually, um, I'm, I'm gonna wait this time. I'm gonna wait till day 12 to see if we can get somebody on like a cheap minimum contract. Maybe we can bring back Wood. Obviously, we see DeAndre Russell still here, but maybe we can bring back Wood or Cam Reddish on day 12. So let's see how much Wood is asking for. Actually, never mind. He's gonna probably sign with another team, or we can maybe get him back for another minimum. And he's yeah, he has a lot of offers, but he does wanna sign with us instead of the five million dollar Warriors, which is offering a contract, which is actually really nice. Now we need a wing. Now we need a wing that we can sign. So what can we sign for like a veteran minimum contract basically? So um Doug McDermott. I mean, if we can bring back Prince on minimum, that would be amazing, but I don't know if we can. Actually we can. That's 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 actually huge. And then We'll have 13. So we can sign one, one more guy. That would be nice. So what do we need? No point guard, no shooting guard, no small forwards. I mean, I guess we can sign a uh, third string center and, like, maybe let's bring back Larry Nance back to Los Angeles. Why not, man? So those three signings, hopefully, on day 12. And then, hopefully, Wood, Torian Prince, and Larry Nance Jr. All are going to sign here. Colin Castle and Alex Fudge, Moy Hodge, and Max Christie. So I'm going to have to cut some of those guys. Obviously, LeBron and AD are going down. Austin Reeves, Alice Crusoe going down. Wow, Alice Crusoe going down. Gee, that sucks. Gary Harris, Larry Nance, and then Max Chrissy, Terry Taylor, and Max Lewis all going up. So, probably gonna have to cut some players. I'm probably gonna cut those two way contracts, but I'll see you guys in the rotation. They want to start Gary Harris, but actually, really interesting. And the fact that we got Christian Wood on back to back minimum contracts is actually amazing, which I don't see him doing it, but we got him back anyway. I think like the big thing this team is missing is playmaking. Obviously, we have LeBron as like the best passer on this team now that. Andrew Russell is gone. The best, I mean, the yeah, obviously seven assists, seven rebounds, 22 points per game is absolutely amazing for a guy that's 40 at this point in year. Like, so we definitely need some playmaking this season. Maybe we stop at the trade on, trade some of these firings, and get like a very, very good playmaker on this team. Probably it's like a role playing playmaker, basically. I mean, Caruso. Um, I mean, like four assists is okay, but I want um somebody that'll at least give you maybe five assists a night, somebody like that. So. That's what I really want here. Like I said, they want to start Gary Hayes. So at this point, why don't we just start Zach Levine at the three and just maybe play Caruso? I actually, I'll just leave it. They want to start Gary Hayes. So whatever. Who's just starting small forward again? It's Gary Hayes. So we might start Vanderbilt at the three, but that spacing would be kind of terrible. So I'm probably just going to leave it as Gary Hayes for now. And then Vanderbilt might be in the rotation. Or I, actually, I'm, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to move LeBron to the three, and then we're going to go and start Vanderbilt at the four. I mean, once again, it's whatever this it would be amazing with Van Bell in the starting lineup now, but I feel like he fits in every single starting lineup. His defense is much needed. We got Wood, Gary Harris, Crusoe, Vincent off the bench, so I'm going to try and trade for like a playmaker, maybe at the trade deadline, to see what's available, man. I feel like the one position I would maybe, just maybe want to upgrade is the small forward position. Just get like a better wing on the team that we can rely on to start, maybe, and maybe that pushes Van Bell to the bench. I'm going to try and get something at the trade deadline. Season 
Christian Wood is going to win your six men of the year. So this year we were the second seed, but we have bad news. With Jared Vanderbilt, he is actually out for the season or torn right at CL. I tried to make a trade, but there were like no offers that really like surprised me or made me want to do it that bad. And they didn't really make sense. So that wing depth does suck with Jared Vanderbilt, his defense. So we're still the second seed, though. Maybe we can still win it, man. 22 from Levine, 22 from LeBron, 21 from the 80, 18 from Woods, 7 and a half from Austin Reeves. So, can we beat the Timberwolves even without, I mean, they're starting Troy Brown, Troy Brown at the 3. But let's see what happens. So, we are going to go ahead and beat them in 5 to play Memphis. So, did Jerry Vanderbilt come back? No, he doesn't. So, now we got the Grizzlies. So, um, we beat them last year. So, can we beat them this year? And, yes, we can. We, or, or, okay, we got an injury from Austin Reeves. Four to six weeks, and then we also got Anthony Davis. But he's going to play through that injury 100%. And he gave Vincent a step up, so I'm pushing his tendency up to a 75. I want you to do what you did for the playoffs with the Miami Heat. Hopefully you can do that. He's going to be the starting point guard now that Reeves out to, like, I don't know how long. Now we got this seven seed Utah Jazz. They got Drew Holiday. Game game one, um, they're gonna take, and then game two, we're going to even it up. Game three, they take the two one lead. We're gonna even up two two. We're gonna take the three two lead, and we're gonna go to game seven. Alice Crusoe getting hurt, but game seven, can we win? Can we win? I'm not taking Crusoe out of their team, even though it wants me to. I want him to play. So we'll see what happens. Um, I, We had the lead, man. He was serious. Okay, we, we had the lead. We, we, we were blowing them out, bro. What happened? Um, Okay, you know, it's just, it's just like that. We're going to lose. So with the injury, to, uh, if, if we would have had Austin, we would have easily won that championship, man. I mean, if we would have yeah, had Austin, we would have easily won the championship. Probably. I don't, I don't know if we get him past the Cavs, but the Cavs sweep the gym. Yeah, yeah, it's maybe working past the Cavaliers, but it does suck with the injuries of Reeves and Vanderbilt. If we were fully healthy, we would have definitely won. Now LeBron wants to retire, so, I mean, did we just let him retire, or we just over override it for another year? Obviously, this team is good. We definitely need, like, a starting three, though, so we might do that this year. Um, did we just let him retire, man? I mean, no, I'm going to run it one more year back with LeBron. We won a championship the first year, so I think we run it one more year back with LeBron James. All these guys maybe use them in a trade for, like, a maybe a small forward. Reese could also be included. LeBron, that player option is going to be declined. Max Christie. Um, I mean, Tatum is a free agent. I mean, I was going to say if we had money to sign him, that would be incredible, but no, you do not. I'm going to bring Matt Cruz out just for the video, but LeBron, obviously. I'm going to try and pay him as much money as I can for, like, a one-year deal so LeBron will be getting that last contract, man. Um, and then Max Christie, Crusoe, I'll be wanting to give him like a minimum one year deal. So then Christie can come back with his qualifying offer. Then I'm looking at, like I said, trade for like a small forward. Um, at this point, I wouldn't see why Christian Wood would take another minimum contract to bring come back to this team. I mean, Maybe I mean we got four million. I mean I'd love to sign some backup center, but for now I'm just gonna try and make a trade man. I'm gonna try and make a trade for a small forward Try and go after OG and Anobi here. I'm offering Carter Knox, Reese, Maxwell Lewis a first and a second And they did a climb to fair. I'll throw one more first for OG and Anobi and they did a climb once again Um, I mean, I don't I mean what's we trade man? Do we I mean, I don't know if we can get OG, never mind. I, I can't trade Caruso because of the video, man. That's literally the point. Jaden William. Okay, they agree. Okay, somehow Jaden William changed the whole thing. OG and OB, new starting small forward. 86 goes up at small forward, so it's actually huge. It's actually really huge. Vanderbilt, don't know if you'll be back anytime soon. We actually need a, not only think about it, we need some backup wings, man. We need some backup wings and a backup center, so... Um, Terrence Mann, I, I know he should go up some overalls. Actually, we signed Terrence Mann. Do we waste all our chips on him, or do we just... Let's just, let's just do it, man. It's the last year. Just screw just, 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 it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and sign Terrence Mann. Can we get him to a minimum? No, we cannot. I'll sign him to, like, let's say it's a... Alright, I'll, I'll give him four million for one year. Get Terrence Mann inside of L.A. Welcome to L.A. team, man. And then we can get a backup center. Back up power forward, Vanderbilt's hurt, so I still like Royce O'Neal, which I really don't like in these options in my opinion, man, so I'm going to go ahead and sign Najee Marshall, 75 would be nice, and then I'll sign Mason Plum, God, why not, so Plumlee, and then, um, 
that Jibacha little still. Let's see what we can get. Now, I say we sign like one more center, one more um forward. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in Royce O'Neal now, and then um I'll see on day 12 we can bring back Wood. He hits a zero shot. He signs for a minimum contract again, right? I mean we can throw like Mo Wagner. Actually, if they hurt Stan, I feel like he would be a little bit better. I mean Wood's obviously okay. We can get Christian Wood back. No way. We can get Wood, or we can sign Wood or Hurt and Stein. I mean, uh, do we sign Wood or Hurt and Stein? I mean, I feel like Wood's gonna. I'm gonna sign Zayn Hurt. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch up a little bit and sign Zayn Hurt and Stein, and then that should be fun. Christy, Chris could be back, and then I'll see you guys in the rotation. Rotation is Reeves, Levine, OG, LeBron, AD, Vanderbilt, Earth back, Hurt and Stein, Terrence Mann, Royce O'Neal. And then Gabe Vincent not getting in man kind of scares me. I'm gonna run a 10 man. Maybe we trade for a backup point guard at the trade deadline. How to do this at the trade deadline? Basically, it's Gabe Vincent, Mason Plumley in two seconds. For Marcus Smart, this would be a better backup point guard, and they do. What Austin? I'm shutting that down right away. You're not getting Austin Reeves, bro. Let's see, I'll go another second. I'm not giving you all needs for mobile Wagner, I'm sorry. Do we have a first round pick in here? I mean, or we can maybe include, like, maybe, I mean, Naji, or we can include, let's, just, let's include Royce on here. Why not, bro? I don't care. Then you give me, like, I'm not seeing deal Dom, like, GG Jackson. Let's see what they say to this, and they can actually do this. Wow, so let's see what they say to this. I'll add another second, and they still want Austin Reed. Now they want Jake LaRavia. Honestly, bro, dog, just, just accept the trade, man. They're still gonna decline. Um, would they have more interest in, like, Najee Marshall instead of GG? I mean, let's see. Who is their worst overall beside him? Yeah, GG Jackson. So we're, they're going to have to trade GG Jackson. And then I'll include another second, and they still decline. Um, they're going to counter it and want Austin. I don't know, why, why do y'all want Austin Reeves so bad, man? I don't know if I can trade Austin Reeves right now. So, so far, this is getting nowhere. Um, let's quit throwing there. I mean, well, Lewis for, I mean, like... Okay, so this is not going anywhere by far. No, I'm oh, screw it. I, I'm adding a first round pick in here. Let's go ahead and add a first round pick and get it over. I'm adding a first, and they decline. The oh, second back in there, and so far they value him like he's the best point guard in the league. So, guess we can't get Marcus Smart, even though he kind of would have been perfect for what we needed right now. Um, I mean, I guess we can't get smart, man. That does suck. I wanted somebody, but maybe we can get like a case in Wallace, actually. He would maybe be better, actually. I don't, I don't want to see the point. Actually, do we get Chris Paul to be a backup? I mean, uh, that should make a fuck. Okay, I'm just going to go out and leave it like this, man, because probably not going to get him. I mean, we can try maybe, maybe a Christie for, I mean, Trent Flower Swap, if that makes it, you know, you don't agree, okay, we're not getting him, um, yeah, so it's gonna go on Simulate. So for the final season, obviously we couldn't get smart at the deadline, we got the Mavericks, so, obviously they got Cameron Thomas, which he is actually really, really good in 2K now, so shout out to him, and they are, I believe, missing Derek Lively, so Derek Lively at this point, he is like an 80-something, so he will be out one to two weeks, so that's actually, they have Jackson A's, I think I saw Jackson A's, right? So we're playing my our former teammate or our former player in Jackson Aids, not teammate, but we got 20 from AD. Uh, obviously, the scoring is going down completely now since this is the last year, and this you get it from like old team. So and we got Dallas. So this will be the last year. After this, I suppose they would do like a rebuild, and we are going to beat them in six. Austin Reed's getting a neck strain. You serious, man? Gabe Vincent averaging 15, but still. Uh, no, no, Vincent, once again, I will want you to score 20 and 9, man. I'm pushing your tendency up to 80 this time, and then hopefully you can do something. Um, OG, I want you taking a little bit more shots as well. I want to confirm we go out and win this championship, so I'm pushing the tendencies up as high as I can. So, hopefully. And then, how, who's the last person in the rotation now that he's injured? Najee Marshall. I'm going to run at 9, man. I might even run at 8 in the rotation. How is Royce O'Neal doing? Since he's on fire. Four points, three ten percent from three. I'll keep him out. I'll keep him out. It's not. It's not too much of a loss. Got New Orleans. So game one. Um. Okay. Austin Reeves day to day. Amazing. We're gonna take it though. Game two. They're gonna even it up. Game three. Austin Reeves comes back. We go to. We we go to one just like that after getting an extra eight. Drop thirty points and then we're gonna go ahead and hopefully. Beat them in six to play. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Here's OKC. I mean, it's look looking like they're missing Jalen Williams, but it's Oklahoma City, man. I mean, do we win it? He's out for the season on a high left sprain, on a high left ankle sprain. 
Um, they're starting VJ Mel, which is very interesting. Very, very interesting, man. But we'll see what happens, man. A battle of a lifetime, game one. They're going to take game two. Okay, it's just it's not looking good, man. Can we go ahead and get one game at least? Yeah, Vincent has a stomach virus. Oh, I don't care, bro. Play through it. But we just go ahead and at least, and I mean at least get one game. That would definitely help us out big time. But it, it's it's not looking like we are going to go ahead and go. Okay, so welcome to see Thunder. We're going to stop our dreams of winning a championship, obviously. I mean, it's not over, but it's, it probably is over, right? So, I mean... See what happens, man. It's most likely over, but we are, I mean, we're putting up a fight, definitely putting up a fight, and we're going to get one game, okay, so I, I, I actually, we almost lost the game, maybe I spoke too soon, but we're going to get one game, which is amazing, hopefully our guys keep playing the way they are, once again, I'm pushing up Tid and C's so we can win, man, but let's see what happens, can we go ahead and maybe get two games, maybe? Can we go ahead and get two games? Maybe four to game seven? Maybe win the series, the first to come back from three to zero, and maybe we're not gonna do that. Yeah, maybe I got my hopes too high, but Oklahoma City Thunder, man. You just can't beat them sometimes, but yeah, so um, I definitely think we could have won a lot of championships in this video if, you know, you know, if we hadn't run to Oklahoma City, if Austin Reeves and Vanderbilt didn't get hurt, we definitely would have won a lot of championships in the video, but hope you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, I mean, realistically, I mean, we could go one more year if LeBron doesn't decide to retire, and he's gonna retire, so we're not doing another year, never mind, so if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, at least we got one championship with Zach Levine and the Lakers team, so, at least that's something to be happy about. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.